All right, it's time for another random pack break. Let's see what we got here. Checked out some uh, Topps Big League. Nice looking card. Pretty simple design. Kind of, uh, kind of actually reminds me of Fleer almost. This is kind of like a, a, I mean, sure, there's a player from the 80s and 90s there, but this design really does remind me of something that Fleer would, would make back then. There's another uh, cool looking card. Really nice shot of Mookie there. Some nice photography in this. I like this, uh, I like this set here. Some cool camera angles. Got these big head, big head insert things here. They aren't actual sketches. It says congratulations on the back. So I guess that counts as a hit, because the hits are few and far between in this set. Uh, another nice insert set. Well, I'm not saying that this is nice. I actually don't care for these, but a nice insert set. Ballpark landmarks. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, there's also, I guess these are short prints. Chuck Nasty, Kraken, Don't You Know, these nickname things here. And then, of course, a ton of parallels. Tops loves its parallels. Some retired players, too. Nice, uh, nice to see Jim Palmer in there. What else did I get? Ah, whatever. I'll whip it. All right, let's move on to the next uh, little batch of cards here. All right, now we have Star Wars Galactic Files for this year. This is a set I'm not going to keep going on. It's the same, uh, same exact design as last year, but this is a set that I'm not going to... Uh, Keep going on with. I'm not going to further this set. This is just a whole hodgepodge of uh, of stuff here. Cartoons and the new trilogy and pretty cool stuff. I don't really need it. Bought it. Bought a couple packs just to just to see what was going on here and try for a hit or whatever. And you know the the ship insert sets are pretty cool because there's some cool ship designs and. I can use whatever cards I, I do have, I can use these for for TTM, hopefully. So it's it's not a total waste with me when I buy stuff like that, when I sample things. Next up is some Chrome. Chrome is nice. Chrome is always awesome. So get the Kershaw Refractor. Another refractor there. Anything else notable? No. Okay, but pretty cool though. Two refractors. It's always nice. And then uh, the big surprise here: Mystery Science Theater three thousand trading cards. I did hear about these. I didn't know they were out. I like how they uh, gave you as close as a wax pack as humanly possible here. These cards are pretty decent. I mean, basically, it's it's going to have that old school, uh, you know, border design, image from the show, quote on the back, or uh, or a fact or something. And I guess they're all quotes. But yeah, this is how they used to make sets. The uh, photo quality is really low, though. Not that the not that the the film quality in Mystery Science Theater three thousand was was super HD. Not that that was crystal clear either, but kind of looks like they just took a picture of the TV screen. 
but maybe that in that's something that's uh, an endearing quality and I haven't decided yet but uh, those are all right there's also it does get a little better though I kind of like the insert sets a little more than the base you have these uh, screen cap quotes from the movies they watch those are nice You have these 3D cards. I don't have a pair of 3D glasses. I, it's probably uh, in the in the box itself. Didn't find those. And then probably the best part. Um, movie posters featuring the robots. And these are absolutely friggin' awesome. So. These are definitely. Uh, I'm definitely going to track more of these particular cards down the set itself eh, it's it is what it is what are you gonna do so there you have it random card pack break